Hey guys, this is Josh again. You may have noticed from my previous video, or you notice it now, that I have five icons in my dock here instead of the typical four that a regular iPhone and iPod Touch would have. This tweak that allows me to do this, which is available for both the jailbroken iPhone and iPod Touch, is called InfiniDock. Simply put, what it allows me to do is display anywhere from one to ten icons at a time on the dock, and I can put as many icons as I want on the dock and then scroll through it like a list. So what I mean by this is I have five showing here, but if I scroll to the left, then it shows more that I've put on the dock. And this can go on to infinity. You can put as many apps as you want on there. And then to just go back to the regular one, the very first screen, you just scroll to the right. There are a couple settings that you can change that make the behavior of the InfiniDock different. So if you go to the Settings tab, um, if you start from the top, go all the way down until you find InfiniDock. And then you're going to tap on that. And then in here is where all the settings are located. The icons per page setting determines how many you show at a time. So it says five up there because I show five icons on my screen at a time. But like I mentioned, you can change it anywhere from one all the way down to ten. The start at page option determines where the InfiniDoc starts. So I have it set to one, which means that it's the first screen when I open my phone, but you can set it anywhere from one to ten pages as well. The scrolling enabler, that makes it so you can actually scroll through your dock. So if you turn scrolling off and you have apps on the dock that are past what you show regularly, then you're not able to scroll through it. So usually I leave that one on. Paging just changes how the pages flip when you move through the apps on your InfiniDoc. So if I go back to the InfiniDoc, or I guess the doc, when I scroll through it, it just goes from page to page and doesn't actually roll over. If you go again and turn it off and then go back to it, instead of rolling from page to page, you can kind of like scroll a little bit halfway there, you know, and kind of determine where it is instead of it going directly right to the next page. But I prefer paging, so I'm going to turn that on. Uh, scrolling snap, that changes how the InfiniDoc stops when you when you move it. So if the scrolling snap is off, when you go through your dock, it just stops right away and doesn't do anything. Scrolling snap, when you turn it on, when you scroll, instead of it just stopping, it actually bounces. So as you can see here, it bounces, and it also does it the other way, too. This tweak is available on Cydia as well and is 99 cents. And as you can see, it's pretty cool, and I've really enjoyed it. It allows me to put all the important icons that I use all the time or ones that are the most important to me on the dock so I have space to put other apps on the main home screen. Also, it's pretty cheap, so that makes it really nice, and I can guarantee you that the developer will come out with some pretty cool new stuff eventually that makes it even cooler. So I'd get it now and experience it for what it is now, especially because it's really awesome. If you have any questions about this at all, just contact me. You know how to contact me. It's listed below the video or available on the Crazy Max Apps website. See you later.